Hello friends, um, today I'd like to tell you something about um, technology. So you'll notice that in the USA there's Google and Oracle and Microsoft, there's Twitter, Facebook. There are a lot of other really successful um, companies as well, I can't think of them right now, but like well, BEA, oh, I guess Oracle bought that, but the Oracle, did I mention that yet? And then there is... Um, uh, well, a million other companies, and they're doing great. There's a creative spirit that goes behind that. And you have to ask yourself, why are not those, one of those companies in Germany, Austria, Switzerland? They call those three countries, by the way, Dachländer. So Deutschland, Austria, and Switzerland is sometimes called CH, so Dach, D-A-C-H. And um, <clears throat> so I can tell you a little bit about that. Um, but it would be really complicated to explain the psychology behind those cultures to why they can't develop software. So good. Not, with all fairness, they do have SAP in Deutschland, but that is a crap. I'm sorry, SAP is a really bad bunch of software. But hey, the Streuberaters, that's how it's the... the Bookkeepers, what do we call them? Accountants. The accountants, um, they don't care about how efficient the software is and all that. So that's why SAP is able to exist. So, but let's talk a little bit about this. I have a great analogy to explain this whole situation. And I am a developer of software, a developer, programmer. So think about this. This is my experience. You come over to Austria or to Deutschland, which is the way they call Germany, and you go to develop some software, and your cohort will be looking at, say, for example, just like we do in the USA, be looking at what you're doing. You know, we're, we're sort of sharing ideas, you know, as we should, in software. Software, by the way, is creative work, right? You can read about it on the internet, what is creative work. Um, we'll get to that. Back to that, but anyway, so here's someone looking at the work you're doing and you're typing along. Now, only in Austria, Germany, and Switzerland will someone say something like, um, you know, you've typed something wrong. So, um, <clears throat> There are spell checkers and there are syntax checkers when you're compiling software that correct those kind of things, There's little typos. I've been developing software for um, since I was 16, actually, so 36 years. So I guess now I'm 52, right? So 36 years, and so I'm sitting there typing this. And some little, some guy's been been two years out of college, some you know, 26 year old or 28 year old, or someone that with more experience also will all um, similarly say something when I like type something incorrect like a big T instead of a little T or if I if I'm just typing some like comment in my notes and I misspell a word they'll say that you've misspelled a word you know um, that is the analogy so what um, what you're and then let me just before I analyze that analogy the antithesis of that behavior is to understand the value of the function, of the value of the functionality of the software. So for example, if this is a performance improvement or if there's some new functionality, let's say it's an email program and now you can reply to all or some, that would be just an example of a, of, a, of a software function, then, you know, that's, that's the goal. The antithesis is to think about that. You know, and so someone like this mistypes a note, you don't even think about it. Your mind is into this value proposition, end value proposition of the software, which is Google, Microsoft, Oracle. It looks like I'm going to run out of space here in a minute on my cell phone, but that's what I wanted to talk about. So.